Yeah. Shit was kind of rough. Don't stop the body rock. Hello everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Hi everybody! Yay! So we met a new character, the mysterious red-haired man who I <laughs> made sound like dying Clint Eastwood. I, I don't know. Aiko's over here. We're gonna go find her. She went off to store the jewel or something. Hello. How are you? Thanks for saving Aiko, Kubo. You got to get some rest. Sure, why not? Alright, cool. We're all healed up. Wonderful. Wonderful. It's a very close up and movable. Yes. You're still focused down there. What are you up to? What's up? Mog's trying to apologize to Aiko. <laughs> but I guess she still can't find the right words. Hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mog's off sight. Hello? Nope. He's been quiet the whole time. Looks like it's raining. That's a waterfall. Zidane, let me ask you something. My grandfather told me not to leave the village until my 16th birthday. But I really want to go with you guys. I really do. Do you think it's okay if I leave the village? No. I'll agree with... I'll agree if that's what you want. Aiko, come with us. Forget what your grandpa said. Mm. It doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind. Mm. Don't you have something to say to her, Vivi? Huh? Mm. Remember what you taught me at the Ifa tree? Ifa tree? You said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my own feelings. You should too, Aiko. Hmm. I forgot my own advice, Phoebe. Thanks. I'll wear the jewel as an earring. It'll be okay then. Right, Sidon? Aiko? I think Mog wants to talk to you. He's so poofy! Kukupo. Kukupo. What? You think I'm mad at you? I'm furious! You went off without me again! You promised me you wouldn't! What would you do if you went off and got into trouble? Kukupo. Oh well. Thank goodness we're both all right. You're always so nice to Mog, aren't you, Aiko? Well, yeah. We're best friends, after all. We were born on the same day, and we have always been together. This is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Aw, that's cute. Mog, you do have the ribbon I gave you. Oh, <laughs> this is the one I gave to Mog. <laughs> it's too big for her now, but once we're, once we're both sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. So Mog is female. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe then, Zidane, you'll dance with me? What the? We're back at this? Oh. Zidane. I didn't know Mog was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's and that's where they cut the scene. I wonder where Dagger went. But did he just come out the door scratching his ass? I Let's go right back in here. What's going on in here? What's that? What, what, what's, what's going on in here? I'm thinking about something. We'll go pray at the idol and wall later, and then we'll eat. Yay, food! I can't. I think I'm stuck. Okay, nope. Okay. Do you think I need to stay here? <laughs> He's like, can I go now? Please? Okay, no. 
So we're off to find Dagger. What's up? They were born on the same day, but Iko came out first. Maybe that's why Iko has always been the big sister. I keep changing what they sound like. I keep... I, I need to find some kind of happy medium between Quina and Vivi's voice. Alright, we already did that. I think I might just, like, try to do a higher pitch voice with myself and hold my nose. Because they got big schnozzes. I feel like they'd be nasally. Uh, I'm assuming she's at the wall. We keep going back and forth to wall and kitchen. Wall and kitchen. Oh. Huh. Surprising. Did you start a timer? Yes, I did. Hooray. Okay. Is she at the entrance? Uh, uh, there's a Moogle here. Hello. Welcome. So... All the same shit. Okay. Uh... Huh. Okay. Out? Maybe? No, they're not gonna be... They'll never be on the world map. Maybe there's another direction I can go over here that I didn't think about. Not oh, wait. I can hear a song. Dagger. <clears throat> From down there? Dagger, are you there? Hmm. Hello, boat from the opening of the game. Sit on. <clears throat> it's okay, keep singing, because it's our song, right? He Didn't he just say I should stop laying it on so thick? Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you found this place. Yeah, because there's not actually a path to get here. You got, you got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the Betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. Oh, <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah, it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't have made it to Limblum, much less seen a whole new continent. Everything I've tried to do on my own was a to total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much. Not just you, either. Yeah. Vivi and Iko helped out at the I.E. for ch Fuck, get fucking tree! I Queena was real helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Steiner, and even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone is alright, but sometimes I just can't. Boing. I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who has helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Dagger. But I do. Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you either. Each, had, each was following his own path. There were she's in there, sir. His own pop? Well, what about you? Huh? Why did you come with me? Hey, that's Ibsen, Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen's a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Trina. One day, Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read said, Come back home. Nowadays, we have airships and stuff, but back then, it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why we, he had gone... He why didn't he know why he had to go back, but he had got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. League is a water measurement. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it, because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. 
you think somebody would like grab a ledge or something, stop the boat wandering into the ocean. But, you know, whatever. Fuck it. Zidane. I... What? Dagger? Can't you... Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah. It's that song. How come? Who's singing it? Huh? The sunset makes the Eidolon wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? <clears throat> Where? It's time for flashbacks. Yeah. Shit was kind of rough. Hey, that boat looks a little familiar, huh? Sauron, what the fuck are you doing? Dagger! Dagger! Wake up! Wake up, woman! Where's Vivi? He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Well? I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, no one ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you until then? Until then. Until I turned six. I must have been here. And not in sorry. Bum, bum, bum! I still can't remember everything. Some things are like they're shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I remember. That day I... I was with my true mother on a little boat far from the village. There's a cove behind Aiko's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard that song on the boat. That song is from Maiden... I'm saying Maiden Surrey. So that's why no one else knows it. Because it's from a village that fucking exploded. How did you get to Alexandria? How come you got to be a princess? Oh, she jelly. How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know. But maybe Dr. Todd can tell me. About the lady who protected me from the storm when the boat, as the boat, lur boat lurched about in the waves. My biological mother, who died on that boat. Would they use the term biological? The woman, the woman she thought was her mother became someone else, and her true mother was already dead. Dagger has lost two mothers. Sad face. I'm good at killing moments, aren't I? Atomos, Fenrir... I used to pray every day here at the Eidolon Wall. You too? You pray here too, Iko? I'm so happy I remembered. Atomos, Fenrir, Dagger! Venus. Welcome home! Muhammad, Ifrit. So glad to be back. 
<laughs> what? I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Oh, it's so cute. Yep, I made up my mind. Zidane, Dagger, I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, Grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. I don't know what the future holds, but I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. I'm waiting for Queen to just like plow through a wall. Come on, Dagger. Let's go pray together. I'm waiting for Queen. All right. To, I'm waiting for Queen to just Kool Aid Man through a wall somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Me come too. I brought Kool Aid. I still don't know what I should do. By the time we defeat Kuja and return to Alexandria. Grandpa, I'll be back soon! Oh, you're coming with us? He was napping. Hey, why the long face? He doesn't have a face. Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. See? <laughs> Mog's coming too! Yay, the shirt goblin! Mog! Yay, shirt goblin! He is the only Moogle with poof. She. She. Come on! Come on! Come on! So many Moogles. I want all of them. Lady Aiko! Now don't forget, you'll always have a home in Maiden Sari. Modern Sari, I don't care. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be lighthearted and free. Thoughts of the Eidolon Wall will always lift up your heart. Away. <laughs> I'm gonna start making them I'm gonna start making the Moogles sound like fucking Yoda. Oh hi! What now? You want some more? The victor lives. The defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? Well that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Valid enough. Alright, then come with me. What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in a fight. We could use someone like you, we're hunting down. We could use someone like you, we're hunting a man down. There we go. His only constant is, an, uh, is his unpredictability. Huh? You say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Hmm. Lonnie called you Red, right? Those dreadlocks are fucking scary. They probably are. Human 26... He looks way older than 26, but whatever. Why, I still don't understand why they feel the need to tell us their hand. Some call me the Flaming Amaranth. Fine, we'll call you Amaranth. I don't understand that name at all. The more the merrier. Let's decide our... <laughs> Made our own. Well, yeah, but I, I want to leave all their names normal. The more the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. Where the fuck is Queena? No idea. So I do want to try out our new guy. Um, you don't want to get rid of your black mage. They're the same level. Uh, she has more health. That's hard. Yep. Um, who would you rather not see? Well, Iko's newer. Yeah. So let's get rid of Dagger so we've got more new people. New people! Alright, we'll do fine. Just follow me. Next stop, the Ifa Tree. Wait, why? That didn't make much sense. That's such an arbitrary choice. Well, first of all, holy sh holy hell, Batman. Oh no, he doesn't have as much as it on. Never mind. Alright, so, he's still gotta learn that. He needs some headgear. Learning stuff, learning stuff, learning stuff. Okay. 
Because he's a brand, he's just a precious little baby. He's a new boy. Sure, get all the killers. Counter's good. Alright, wonderful. So, off to the Ifa tree. God damn it, I hate that so much. <laughs> Did not mean to come here. Get, get on, on the chocobo! I'm trying to, I'm trying to not go in the town. The chocobo's too close to the town! Say it, God damn it! I guess I'm going on foot. I got off the chocobo too close to the town. Yep. Alright. <laughs> I can make it. Nope. Alright, well, we can try out the new guy. So, I told you earlier he could, like, throw stuff. I'm not gonna throw... See, I have, an, I have a spare of Zidane's weapon. I would throw that, because that would do a ton of damage, but that's, that should be used on a boss. So, we'll throw the pinwheel I bought. Because I think I bought a pinwheel. Throw... Holy... Nope, I never bought one. Um, here, throw the fork. Just throw, throw, throw a fork. Why are they punching a little girl? Fork. <laughs> he will just lob anything you hand him at them. It's, it's really funny. I, mean, I forget what this does. Oh, cool! See? He's chocolate later. Right. Right now. I, I honestly forgot what that did. I didn't use him often when I played. Might. Like, my, my. Right. My, my, my team, my team at the end of this game when I played it when I was younger was Zidane, because you can't not have him. Steiner, Freya, and I think Ico. She has a kitty. Okay, no. My ball hurt. Yeah, he won't sit on my lap, but he'll sit, he'll just up and lay on you. <laughs> Freaking traitor. I can't hurt You're my boy. He's a traitor. So I think now might be the time to go see if there's anything else around here real quick. Yeah. I need to find some chocobo tracks. Because I do not want to be running around here catching every goddamn battle. <laughs> chocobo. Not not over here. I'm hoping they're not over there and I fucking missed them. We're gonna go around. Oh, it looks like it just ends. It looks like the area around the tree is just island. If it is, that'll make it easy for me. That means I wanna... Oh! oh hello. Dat big green ass. Boink. Douche. Yeah, see, when I was using Amaranth, I would use throw way more than I used his normal attack, because it would do a ton more damage. Because I think what it is, is it'll mix his attack with the person the weapon's for. Or, like, mix the stats with his, his attack or something. I, I just want you dead. Just go away. Thank you. No, I, I said go away, sir. Go away. Thank you. Oh! Ooh! Ooh yay! She got her summon. Yep, she can learn a new one. Because she can learn the one we got from the tree. Which is fun. Oh, she can get something from that, too. I'll have to make sure she learns that. Aren't you going to use Ruby next? Yeah, because Ruby's got... Carbuncle is the new summon. I think a carbuncle is another type of jewel or something. Or maybe not. Okay, so we can just go in. This just it just ends right here. Okay. Alright, so off we go. There's still a little mist. But at least there's no more coming out. That must mean Kuja isn't here yet. What happened to the mist? We beat the monster that breathes it. So much for the mist, continent. No more mist. They must possess incredible powers to accomplish such a feat. We're all just staring around in circles. Zidane, there's a silver dragon. He's just over there like, 
Hmm, yeah, look at that. It's him! He flew from the ruins of Vermicia riding a silver dragon. It's Kuja, all right, and he's heading, he's riding that dragon. <laughs> looks green, not silver. It's, it's undersides, like, I don't know why. Yeah, it looks green. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, how I've longed for this day. <laughs> the day I might finally cast away this mask to reveal my true self. Now it no longer matters if the Ifa tree is liberated. It means nothing to me. <laughs> the tree is so beautiful. Its beauty comes from the great mother tree that lives among the stars. Silver dragon, that's actually green. Let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Ifa. No one shall interrupt us there. Me or my purple fall. Um. Sure. Let's go. So I think this is kind of like race time. Is it? Is it playing like funky music for you right now? Yeah. Like did it did it did it did it did it did it. I was playing like army music sounding. A little bit. Yeah, four minutes. Four minutes is enough time to make it up these routes. Let's go. Doop 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 doop. We'll pass the trunk if we go any farther. <laughs> He's just meandering. That parallax, though. Kuja went down that trunk. Say, Zidane, how are we going to get up there? Can't we climb up there? Not everybody's a monkey, dude. It's like, yeah, let's climb, let's climb that. Sure. Not me! Me either. I don't think I can either. Emirant could. We came all this way. Now what? What's the problem? You should just go by yourself. We gotta go face Kuja together. How did this wimp end up beating me? Hey! Hey, Emirant, watch where you're walking. You almost knocked me down! He who hesitates is lost. You'd best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. Whatever. Like you actually have a plan. Oh yeah, smarty pants? Don't forget that you're the one who lost his Zidane. Shut up! Mmm, <coughs> puberty. Shut <laughs> up, brat. <laughs> a plan, huh? <coughs> That's right, Amrit. You owe me one, remember? It's payback time. Shoot. There's some gargant grass around here, so a gargant can't be far. I want you to catch one for me. Then we can all get on and ride it to the top. Why should I do all that when I could just take the kids up myself? Huh? How do I ever let this dimwit beat me? Hey! Boink. <laughs> he sure has spirit. Alright, Dagger. I'll just carry you piggyback. Hey! Wait! Sadan! Stress! Nope. <laughs> Off we go. I love how he just snatched the kids up. I want him to sound like Tim Curry. The weak lose the freedom to the strong. That's a bad Tim Curry. Such is the way of the strong, and it's the providence of nature that only the strong survive. That's why I need strength. I learned powers that would daunt even him over ten years ago. <laughs> Such a long time. Now my forces are ready to strike. Ah, the suspense is terrible. I like that better. That sounds better. So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up on them until the elephant lady shows up. <laughs> damn. True, but damn. Okie doke. Thanks, Amrit. Now we're even. Show me what you guys can do. There's Kuja. I know that purple thong anywhere. Yeah, get ready. They give me so many options to change the to change the party. Mm -hmm. Um, no, we've got a healer, a black mage, and two damage dealers. Yep. We're good. Fuck it. We're done. Let's roll. Kuja, maker of the black mages. 
Any enemy of Zidane is an enemy of mine. All right, let's go. Boing. Everyone's very jumpy. Hello. You are Kuja, correct? My name is Princess Garnet Til Alexandros. I wish to ask you something. Was it really you who persuaded my mother to start the war? The war that threw the entire Mist Continent into chaos? And you made everyone, the Black Mages, into instruments of war? Oh dear, the princess has such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe. Begin with a broth of mist, add fermented souls, and boil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl, and heat to- STOP IT! I'm not done telling how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of souls. Dregs of souls? You mean mist? First, you don't want to listen. Now you start asking questions? Oh, brother, but you are not ready yet. Why you? Don't you feel anything? Taking the lives of so many? Spare me the lecture. Lives come and go. All the time. What's the big deal? <laughs> Speaking of warmongers, why, what about that mother of yours, princess? She said she won't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. The war was my fault. No, no. Your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Liar. My mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. <laughs> so the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act, the end of the ugly desire. It's showtime! <laughs> I have no idea what that. It's fun to it's fun to play with PJ. He's such a I love him as a villain. The I don't give a flying fuck about you or any of these people kind of villain. <laughs> Kuja! So you finally decided to show your girly face here. At least someone commented on it. You're all that stands between me and total domination. <laughs> but I haven't forgotten all you've done for me. In return, I'll show you the ultimate power. Attention all hands. Order the Black Mages to focus all their magical energies into a single spell. Lay suppressing fire upon Kuja until the casting is finished. Fire! Fire at will! <laughs> I wanted her to sound like she's been smoking a pack a day for 300 years. Orders from Her Majesty! Black Mages, focus all your magical energy into a single spell! Omnipodnim. Omnipodnim. I... I can't believe it. Your mother isn't satisfied with just one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive. Ah, uh, everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. What are you talking about? You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away. The mist may be created no more, but it still lurks in caves and forests, right? Huh? I can make monsters with magic. Come forth, spawns of the mist. <laughs> Hello. How'd you like one of those crawling out from under the sink? Nope. 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 <laughs> oh, I got a couple of these. I'll throw one of these. Attack. Throw some fire at him. Nah. I don't want to use this because I know what this does. Okay. I'll use this when we're fighting a boss. Boink. Yeah, look at that. Just down. Boink. Alright, this should kill him. 
Maybe I am overleveled. I keep thinking I am, and then I'm not. But And then I, like, wreck things no problem later on. So I don't really know. Poke. I was hoping she would kill it with a little poke. He poked me. Poke. And we're done. Amaranth used Fury Swipes. It's super effective. Well, Iko's learning a bunch of crap. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's just chilling. So the two of your enemies are duking it out. Why not just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's on Kuja. <laughs> Any man who's riding a dragon's a damn beast. <laughs> Foolish brawn. Your prized cannons are useless against the spawn of the mist. <laughs> But even a fool like you knows that there's only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady, why do you hesitate? Very well, I'll make the first move. I'll give you a clean target you can't miss. <coughs> Silver dragon, descend! It's fucking green! Amrit's right. Let's split before we get dragged in. No, I can't. I can't let anything happen to my mother. Dagger? Zidane, I... I have to save her. Uh, Dagger? She extracted Eidolon from you and started a war? I still don't want her to die. But she didn't care one bit whether you lived or died. You don't have to call her mother anymore. She's my only mother! I don't care if you don't understand. She got more and more British by the second. Aiko, you said that there was an idol in prison near here, right? Um, yeah! Please, tell me where. It's a, it's a long way down. You see that place with lots of roots? That's it! There. I see it. Dagger, don't go alone! She totally broke the fourth wall and looked at us. Dagger did. Did she? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Oh, hello. Luckily, Dagger wasn't in my party to begin with, so nothing changed. Um, here I'll show you what the, I'll show you the new summon just just so you can see it. Oh, never mind, we're trancing. Yep. 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 Oh, his his turn isn't even ready yet. Here, there we go. So, Fyra. We haven't used Thunder in a while. Here, everybody. I'm, that's me getting ready. Hmm? It's so you. Can, it's so people can like. If you're like wanting to watch the stuff, I can hit this and it'll get rid of it. See, like I like to do that when I'm fight watching summons. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of a good place to use that summon because it has a it. It's not an attack summon; it's a spell summon. Like it does something. It's a it, it buffs. It doesn't actually attack. Okay. And the buff it gives me can become a problem because I can end up hurting myself because of it. Yeah, it has to be used in a specific way. <laughs> this is turning into quite a show. Anyone can get emotional at a time like this. Give her a break. Zidane, let's go. Dagger's in danger all by herself. Yeah, let's go after her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see you back here. Do okay. I have... I have a letter for you. Yep. And then we've got to save. Because time's up. Yep. A letter from Oggy Well? Thanks, Koopa. A kid named Vivi came back to the Black Maid Village. His eyes were so sad. I gave the wait. I already gave you this letter. Sad eyes. Where the world? Is that very heavy, Koopa? I swear I already gave him that letter. Yeah, you did. That's weird. There's a letter from Stiltskin, but I don't understand what he's saying. The mist is gone. Is this a blessing or a curse? Koopa, I don't understand. Can we all be happy now that the mist is gone? But, uh, yeah, we do need to save. Uh, so it looks like we do have a battle ahead of us and possibly a new summon. Uh, Dagger's running down the tree roots to get to a summon that was imprisoned here a while back. 
well, several years back. And uh, we're all going to go chase after her and make sure she's okay. But uh, until next time, bye, bye guys! guys.